The Venetian Inn has been here since 1947 yeah. in Tawny Town and has been in the family for 75 years this June. Our great grandfather, my great grandfather and um, Gasparato, uh, I guess had a vision of building a restaurant with uh, motels, a service garage, um, and a gas station, Phillips 66 gas station. Um, that's the vision I guess they had here and over over time it's just now it's just a restaurant that's been here for 75 years of uh, just Ozark food Italian Ozark Italian food very proud Italian heritage here in Tonk Town they migrated from from Italy uh, my great-grandparents uh, both both sides uh, came across and uh, settled into Lake Village area and then then moved to the Tawny Town area um, and just for the region of uh, as far as I know of growing a grape the the seasons were were right for a great uh, crop to me the way I could say is they Ozarked what they could from from Italy and, and I think that's where the fried chicken, uh, you know, and, and the recipes just kind of tied together. We believe the recipes that we use today are still the recipes that have been used for generations, even beyond 1947. Okay, today we're gonna start with a famous recipe. Uh, we got some chicken that's been rinsed, um, uh, thigh, legs, and drums. Um, we've got flour, Salt, uh, pepper, and granulated garlic for the seasoning or the dry ingredients. Um, start with one cup of flour. I like to go a little over. <laughs> one cup of flour. We'll do, let's see. About one, a little over, a tablespoon of salt. A tablespoon of pepper, a little over. <laughs> and I'm gonna go two tablespoons of garlic. and then mix it together. And, and then for the wet ingredients, we just used milk, two cups of milk into a, uh, another container. And we, we do a triple dip here at the Venetian Inn. Uh, we wanna make sure the chicken is, I'll dry it off, um, we'll take it and, and we, Pat it dry. Um, it's at uh, it's just above room temperature. It hasn't been out long. I don't like to have it too cold, but just we'll pat it dry, and then I'll do a, a dry coating. Hands, just kind of fluff it in. Get a good coating on it for your first. And then, of course, a milk wash. And then back in and then coat. And then back in. And of course, you can get fancy if you want. You can, you know, bring it in and coat it without using your hands, but what good is it if it's not coated on your fingers? <laughs> and then milk, and then this should be the last coating. I like to float or fluff it, and then maybe a pat, get it in there good. And then just knock the excess off. And then we are ready to cook that piece. When you're making fried chicken to me, it's 
a lot of people will go, well, it's so hard, it's time consuming. But to be honest with you, it's making memories. Making fried chicken is making memories, especially if you had your kids, your grandkids, neighbors next door and their kids, you know, around a table. You can sit here and tell a story or talk about family things or whatever and still be cooking food. You know, and then when, it, when it's done, the memory isn't just of eating the chicken, the memory is sitting around talking with family, frying chicken. All right, we're here at the fryer. We're getting ready to fry. Uh, again, we're gonna start with a fresh, uh, I, we use here at the restaurant, uh, a clear frying vegetable oil. Uh, you know, you can use a, any name brand, uh, a really good meat thermometer. Um, and I try to get the oil, I gotta check it. Try to keep, keep it around 300 is where I like to, uh, we're at 3, 311, 315, about right in there. So I know I'm good and hot. Um, and then I like to, when I put my chicken in, I like to kind of put it off to the side and, and kind of put it in. And then on the other pieces, I like to, and I always drop away from you. That way they and keep plenty of room in there. The, the closer they get, they stick and then the crust falls off. So you wanna make sure there's room enough in the, in the pan. So if you're using a pan at home, give yourself some room. Uh, don't rush it, do not rush it. And then we, we use a timer and uh, it depends. It runs anywhere from 13 to 15 minutes, just to the size of the, the bird you're using. The bigger the bird, the longer the time it takes to cook. But you always want to make sure when the timer goes off before you really sit down and start eating, check the temperature. Make sure it's at 165 and above. Um, the, you know, the crispier the chicken you, you want, um, cook it to, oh, I say 180, 190. At 165, you've got that soft crust you know, and above 165 where chicken is cooked, but above, you know, just a little bit above 165, it's a really soft crust, 180, 190, right in there you start getting a darker, crispier crunch. It's just to your liking. Each, each family likes it different ways. Yeah. Make sure you got a, yep, I'm showing 196. So I, I cooked it a little longer because I like a little extra crutch in my chicken. There's the breast. And get that out. And now I want to check it outside. That way we can not get in any heat from fryer. Internal is 170. 169 to 170 almost. 200 and 180, 181. And that to me would be a perfect cook. Um, if you like crunchy, I like it crunchy. So it's probably a little bit darker than other people would like, but this is mine uh, the way I would like it. And I hope this recipe works out well for you. Um, and if it does, great. If not, and you got any questions, come by and see us here at Tawny Town at the Venetian Inn, uh, where we'd be glad to uh, even give you a bowl of spaghetti to go with it. And we appreciate all of your time.